did you know that the original premise for this game was originally supposed to be about, get this, time travel? Yeah, I know, the one shark jumping trope that we're basically all sick and tired of at this point. Ooh, time travel, so original. Well, that's gonna explain a lot about the next area that's gonna have, get this, dinosaurs in modern day Australia. So yeah, that's gonna explain a lot about what the game developers originally had planned for this game. Hey, hello, Paisanos! This is Gamer 23 and welcome back to Let's Play Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2 Bush Rescue! So in the last part, we helped out Beryl and Squeaver for real, for a third and final time, and we also did a couple of Lifter Bunny Up action missions, so yeah, those were exciting. Even though the Bunny Up itself just was trotting around just like it was stuck in a pool of molasses. Alright, so yeah, you might be wondering why I'm just outside Sulphur Rocks. Well, check it! You can see my opal count has increased drastically since the last part. So yeah, long story short, I went opal grinding in Sulphur Rocks. Originally, I did have the idea of replaying every Star mission, which was basically every helicopter mission and submission again and again and again to grind up on opals, but that was just taking way too long. Then I remembered that the Sulphur Rocks had not only a 3,000 opal bag, but also a 500 opal bag, a 1,000 opal bag, and a 1,500 opal bag. Not only that, but there was also an opal bag in the water, and also uh, 200, usually out here. I, also, I already cleared this uh, for the umpteenth time. So basically, I went into Sulphur Rocks, grabbed those bags, and exited it, and re-entered again and again and again. And I even slaughtered uh, an unknown amount of frills and uber frills to chalk up on even more opals. So yeah, I uh, exited and re-entered more than enough times to grind up enough opals. Because we're going to be doing some serious shopping before we head to the Never Never. First things first, we head back to town for Trader Bob's. There's one last little collectible we want from him. Something that's gonna increase our defense power to the max. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick! Get it? A stick! <laughs> because it doesn't come back. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yeah, science and all that. Okay, Trader Bob's has one last Hello, item Ty. we want, but it's not cheap. Welcome back, Mike. Just give me a yell if you need a hand. So yeah, we got we basically already sold them out except for one thing, the platinum paw. It's a bargain at half the price. At half the price? So this thing is usually 150,000 opals? Yikes. Okay, let's let's get it. You've done well, Mike. Okay, we sold out Trader Bob's. It's a bargain at half the price. Okay, a platinum paw is the ultimate in defense. It triples your health so you can stand up to even the toughest of Cass's enemies. Exactly what we'll need at the final area. Bye bye. Okay, so yeah, you can tell why I basically spent a couple of hours off screen grinding up opals. Hi, hi, Ty. And that's not all. We're gonna Hello, be Ty. We're gonna be emptying out Sly Shack too, so that's our next de destination for two last boomerangs. Alright, so come on. No, not under... Okay, 
Okay, so... It's always a pain trying to get up to the front door slice place, so... Alright, so, let's just try to cheese it a little bit. Okay, so I guess you can't really do that. Oh, look too soon. Okay, so whatever makes things easier. Okay, so, time to purchase the last two boomerangs from Sly Shack. Hey bro, what can I do for you? Okay, so there's one mystery boomerang that only appears once we've sold Sly out of all his other arsenal. Okay, so we purchased the Deadly Ring. That'll ruffle Tess's feathers. And last but not least, the coveted Doomerang. Alright, yeah, remember this bad boy? We could remote control this thing during the final battle of the first game. Unfortunately, it's kind of a downgrade in this one, but you'll see. That'll ruffle Tess's feathers. Okay, so let's see the descriptions for each of them. That's a top upgrade toy. Highly recommended. Okay, the Deadly Ring. This used to be Sly's very own boomerang until he let you have it. It's incredibly powerful and more than a match for Tess's uber reptiles. Top of the line, mate. You can't get much better. Doomerang. You can guide the Doomerang by remote control to hit enemies from a distance. Great for launching a surprise attack. Catch it, bro. Alright, so that does it. We've sold Sly and Trader Bob out of everything they have, and man, did it cost us a fortune. So, yeah, you, you can understand why I spent a couple of hours off screen grinding up opals and sulfur rocks. Okay, check it. The Deadly Rang. Okay, so yeah, this is Sly's very own boomerang with the skull and crossbone motif on it. Okay. Alright, so let's see what's, what happens when we give this bad boy a toss. So it's basically, it's basically a kaboomerang. Just, just you can throw two of them at, at, at a time. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, two explosions at one time. And the Doomerang... Well... It's kind of a... Nerfed up... It's kind of a dulled down version of the one from the first game. It doesn't... You can't really make it... Fly, it just glides towards its target and... Uh, it, it, it doesn't really control very well, so... If I threw it out from the top of the tower, it would have just taken a nosedive all the way to the ground. So, yeah. So, yeah, Garn... So, so, yeah, you have limited mobility on this rank, but anyway, that's not important. What's important is we've gotten everything we need. So, apparently, there's a way to grind up opals easier, but that's only for in the remake. But... When I get around to playing that game, I'll show you. Someday. Okay, let's head off to the Never Never. That's the big pineapple. Okay, that's the big banana. Into this little crevice right over here. So yeah, take this off-road ramp. And we reach a certain outcome that's more jungly than the rest of the outback. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, check it out. Dinosaurs in modern day Australia. It, it just when you thought an anthropomorphic a boomerang wielding thylacine wasn't jumping the shark enough, they had to add dinosaurs. Okay, so, quick scan. Scan a route. Aha! No spy is safe. From Ty's Eagle Eyes. Okay, so. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so we enter a lava filled cave, it looks like. 
Okay, so... Yeah. Why not? So... Let's see. So yeah, it feels good to have a full boomerang arsenal. Nothing but upgrades. Okay, double freeze. Love the freezer rank. Okay. Down! Ah, what? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, come on. Alright, let's grind. Just barely. Okay, what's up top these floating platforms? It better be worth it. Just 200 opals. Okay, well, don't really need any more opals. We've already purchased everything there is to purchase in this game, but whatever. Here we go, into the airlock. Okay, so just grab those little Precious red gems. Here we go. All right. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Oop, wait, I'm sorry. The Never Never. I'm sorry. But this place does have living, breathing dinosaurs in the current age, so can you really tell the difference? Okay, so. We have got a ton to do in this plethora, in this, in this jungle. Okay. So yeah, check it out. We've got more than enough collectibles to, to gather up. So, so yeah, I checked and this place has, get this, 16 platinum cogs. So yeah, we got our real your work cut out for us. Okay, so... And also a ton of picture frames. So we've got 30 left. This place has all 30 picture frames to collect before our concept art collection is complete. Okay, so obviously evolution is kind of biased for the frills, so... Not like they had the smarts to begin with. Okay, so. so there is like a aha sweetness. Here we go. So yeah, when you find yourself with a collectible that's high out of reach, just take a look around, and you'll find the way to get to it eventually. Okay, there's another one close by, so... Is there, uh... Like some sort of, uh... Boulder that we need to blow up or something? Okay, so yeah, there's a Platinum Cog right around here. Question is, how do I get to it? Oh, it's way... It's right up in the tree there. Yeah, I see something glittering up there. Okay, so yeah, it's really easy to get lost in here. It's, uh, well, you know, it's easy to get lost in any jungle, but... Okay, so we gotta find a way to get uh, our glittering prize up above. I think that those platforms are, are pretty much our best chance, so let's just keep going. If we can. <laughs> Put the bite on our more 
modern looking dinosaur cousins and oh could have just taken this path right here okay well okay so just keep the x-ring equipped to search for any items that were in need of a collecting yeah sorry I just don't have the words right now but yeah I have really bad memories of just getting lost super easily in this in this world as a kid and just trying to find every single last stinking collectible was a pain but not as much of a pain as sulfur rock so that's kind of a compliment I mean yeah this place is huge but it's more linear sort of it's still confusing as F, but... Okay, so let's... Let's just give uh, the Deadly Rang a couple of... A uh, couple of good tries. Okay. Alright, KO! Okay, KO. Let's be heroes. Alright, so we got something up in this waterfall here. Okay. Ooh! Blooming platforms. Okay, so. And we get to those. Alright, so it's just. Oh look, cute little dinosaurs that can nibble your face off. Yeah, coincidentally, I'm now having visions of the frilled neck dinosaurs from Jurassic Park that attack that guy who stole the DNA samples. Right, right, they're called those. Okay, so we're just basically relying on the platforms in the trees. Okay. There we go. So yeah, when in doubt, find the button out. Alright. Another one. Okay, yes sir, here we go. It's all coming together, okay. Let's see. Okay. Give me that beautiful shiny object. Ah. Dang it. So, yeah. The majority of this part is basically just going to be me trying to get the collectibles out of reach, so. But I'm going to make sure that there's enough room for, for completing missions, so. At least two out of four of them. There's only three... Yeah, there's only three depicted in the call sheet, but uh, there is a secret optional fourth one. Ooh, Bilby Ahoy! Come to me, little one. Your family's waiting at home. Or wherever they are. Okay. Okay, so yeah, these frills are a lot more easier to put the bite on. Okay, so... Still got more goodies to collect. Just question is, how do I get to them? Just... Okay, so here we go. Um, I think maybe this is uh. 
Okay, just stick glide of faith. Here we go. Alright, so I'll leave six more chromium orbs. All within this one area, so yeah. Okay, so... More picture frames to add to the concept art pile. I really love the music here. Just... Yeah, just each track just has its own unique charm to it. I mean, uh, with Sulphur Rocks, it was basically just in the classic Aussie countryside, but in this one, they just kind of give it a more laid-back jungle feel. I mean, you're in a jungle full of dinosaurs and spewing volcanoes. So yeah, it truly has, does feel like you've gone back in time. So yeah, that was the original premise's idea, so... I'm kind of glad they changed it up, so... Yeah, the concept of time travel just kind of seems like... Been there, done that. Not to say that it can't be done cleverly, but... Uh, just gotta have something. That, uh, shake things up a bit. Okay, so... Uh, something invisible close by. In the trees. Oh! Wait. Closer to the ground than I thought. And they're just money boxes. Sure, why not? Okay... Yeah, just going around in circles, just wondering where, where the hell I am. <laughs> Trees just look so similar. Where am I? Okay, come on, up and at him. Oop. Okay, so got more invisible boxes close by. Aha! They are also full of opals. Just. Come on. Can I get a concept art piece or two? Okay, so... Let's just take a glide of faith. Okay. There's another one. Okay, here we go. Up, oh, up, oh, and another one. Oh yeah, get that. There's an oil refinery in a place full of dinosaurs. Just the irony in that just speaks for itself. Just kind of begs the question as they're what they do with the dead dinosaurs. So there, there you have it. There's your answer. Duh. So yeah, fossil fuels before certain dinosaurs even became fossils. <laughs> oh boy, the, the irony is just rich in that. <clears throat> okay, so let's move on. Okay, so I think we've pretty much cleared this area out. If there's any more collectibles, we'll come back. There's one more, but uh, I'm not sure how we can reach that one yet. Okay, right, come on. Oops, it easy. Okay, so yeah, how do we? How do we get to that? One? Okay, so I think we're gonna need to look for a button or something to lower that platform. Another one. So yeah. Button, button. Where is the button? Somewhere here, just I don't know where. Ah, uh, we'll, 
We'll come back for it later. Okay, so yeah, just kind of uh, putting a putting a pin in that one for later. Let's keep going. If that's possible, where do these arrows points? Ah, come on. Okay, so yeah, like I said, easy to get lost in and easy to lose your way. So. I'm gonna need a sec to get my bearings and uh, maybe find ways to get those cogs, so I'll be right back. I'll just play with these little guys off screen. Okay, so there's a button basically beyond the path that we're gonna have to activate in order to get that platinum cog, so. And as for the one close to the start, I think we're gonna need the help of some other platforms, so. We'll get them, eventually. Just need to learn a little bit of backtracking. Oh, hello. Blowing rock. Blowing rock means blow up. All right. Another chromium ore for the pile. Basically, not nothing worth. Oh, wait a minute! Well, it's a spy. Okay. Okay. So yes, another beautiful shiny button to bite. Okay. And check it, that activates the platform back at the trees. Okay, so yeah, just backtracking in general. Okay, so let's go back for that beautiful shiny collectible. That we can easily access now. I wonder who designed these floating platforms in the first place, just what kind of fuel they use to power their fans, just... I'm just so full of questions, they'll never have answers, I suppose. Alright, so that's... takes care of that one little... little collectible, so... Just follow the generously placed arrows, they at least will give you some sense of direction. Oh, hello? Okay. Ugh! I swear, sometimes the, the glide button works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay... A leap of faith, and a glide of faith. Alright. Alright, raking them in. Oh, come on. Come on, you're... You're wielding high-tech rangs. How can they alter so badly at gliding? Come on. Okay, so... I think I saw Chromium Orb out in the bushes right around the edge. It, oh, come on! I pressed A! Seriously. It's no fun if you're not gonna if these stinging controls aren't gonna respond when I want them to. Okay. Is there like a flash rang hook or something, or just a leap of faith? Probably need to come back for that one later. Yeah, figures that's the only thing that you can't find are chromium orbs, but I guess since we've gotten the ones for the platinum cogs and the bilbies, I guess that's it's kind of redundant to try and find the chromium orbs. 
Especially considering the only map that we can get from Manamopoke now is the ones that locate Gubu Steve, but there's only one of him left, so what's the point? Alright, so how do we get. Duh! So easy to just lose yourself here. It's calm and serene, but seriously, you wanna get somewhere. Okay, can we make that jump, or just we need to find another way? Okay, one more time. Oh, I saw, saw a last ring hoop. Okay, switch him up. There we go. Alright, tie of the jungle. Friend to you and me. Watch out for that tree! Okay, seriously, a giant oil refinery in the middle of a jungle of dinosaurs. I mean, just... I don't have the words, but... Whatever. We're here at another location. Okay, so... So apparently we got... What is that? We got a bird dinosaur down there with some egg, with some colorful eggs. No! No! Oh, oh. oh, please don't tell me we're back near the entrance. Okay. Oh, jeez, we're back near the entrance. Damn it. Just give me a minute. Such a screw-up, I swear. Okay, so... As we were doing... We were... Going to... I was just being curious, and... I guess curi curiosity killed the thylacine, or... At least... Got him back towards a certain point. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. Let's get to, to this one. Observe. The beautiful majesty of the bird dinosaur. Alright, watch as he gracefully sings with red, yellow, and green feathers. Okay, or musical notes. Okay, so yeah, just... <laughs> All right, so it's one of those mini games. Red, yellow, blue, green. Yellow, blue, and green. All right, so yeah, just torture these half-born dinosaurs. Purple, purple, green, yellow, red. Okay, purple. Oh, wait. Okay, purple, purple, green, yellow, and red. Okay, so apparently that counts as a mission. And there she goes. Or just. Okay, so yeah, look at her. Graceful. There's a gazelle. Just look at that beautiful plumage. And those curly purple locks on her on her neck. And her head. Just uh, yeah, just uh Yeah, just a uh, beautiful plumed musical dinosaur, I guess. That allowed me to to torture her young. Her musical young. Sure, why not? So yeah, just green, purple, red, blue, and yellow. Ah, the gracious wonders of prehistoric... Prehistoric dinosaurs just giving birth to such strange creatures. Mysteries are boundless. Now, another mystery is how do we get to that stinking cog over there? 
Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, it's our alien friends from Sofa Rocks. But first things first. Just. Memos these blue tongues and, uh. These, uh okay, so there's these prehistoric nutcases, too, so. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so we got even more goodies to collect. Okay. So I saw a crummy more right in that little cr nook, uh, nook or cranny, and the. Yeah, right on the other side. Oh, it's on this side of the fence, dumbass. Duh. <laughs> All right, so that will this will take us to where we want the cog. Okay. And these platforms sink. Okay. So. Okay, check it. Another, another shiny object for us. And I do believe that we're almost directly above the one that we missed earlier. Aha! Right down there. Okay, so this is going to require another hike from the very beginning of the level, but it's worth it this time. See how he gracefully glides down. Aha! Into the trees. That leaves ten useless platinum cogs left. That have no... 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 <laughs> Seriously, what was the purpose of these things? Just to be collectibles? That's it? Eh, whatever. All right, back again. So we're gonna just again admire the graceful plumage of the majestic uh, whatever this dinosaur is called. Yeah, I'm just slipping in my uh, biology. So yeah, I don't know my dinosaurs anymore. Got some homework to do. Okay, so... So yeah, now we're in a world of dinosaurs and aliens! So yeah, you didn't think this game could jump the shark any further? So yeah. So yeah, it's our friend from Sulphur Rocks. Let's see what... Shenanigans he's into. Okay, so this means another mission for us. G'day, mate. I'm Ty. Hey, Ty. My friends call me Snappy. G'day, Snappy. I said my friends call me Snappy. Uh, okay. So, uh, here you have a problem. Yes, my interstellar time cruiser, uh, caravan, has crash landed on the other side of this hot molten lava and is teetering perilously close to the edge. The heat shields are already starting to melt. Why would a caravan have heat shields? To stop it burning upon re entry to Earth's atmosphere, of course! <laughs> uh, Hi. I'll see if I can help you out. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Time traveling machine. <laughs> just stop. Just, just all of this is just beyond ludicrous. Okay, so we not only have a, a place in, in the Outback Aust and modern day Australia with dinosaurs, but also there's aliens in our midst. Just. Stop. Just... Aliens. So yeah, when you have both dinosaurs and aliens, you know you've jumped the shark twice as hard. Just... Jump the shark enough to make even the shark jealous. Just... Okay, so... So swing it, Ty! Swing it! Tarzan, alright! Hello. Okay, so just grab another concept art piece. Another picture frame with Ty's handsome mug. 
Okay, so, uh, what do we need to do? Do we need to hit this thing or something? How do I get it going? Try kicking it! Uh, okay. What the? <laughs> Thanks, Ty! See you around like a ritual! <laughs> Ty, mate, Julius has just finished decoding that data nut that you got from Fluffy. He wants to see you straight away. All right. Well, Julius is finished decoding the data nut, so we can head back to HQ, but we've got a couple more missions to deal with, so... Okay, so see Julius. We'll take care of that soon enough. See Julius at Bush Rescue Headquarters. But first things first, let's deal with these two missions that we have left. But we've spent a lot of time here, so after a couple more collectibles, I think we'll... Uh, We'll call this part quits, and we'll deal with the remaining collectibles and junk for the next part. Okay. Okay, so just basically... Oh, Bilby. I see uh, Bilby just sweltering in the heat. Poor thing must be, must be dying of thirst right now. Okay. Chill. So yeah, just kicking. <laughs> just a, a time traveling, time traveling caravan. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Okay. Oh wait. Many thanks to the conveniently placed Reflesia. Okay, so I think that'll be the last of the Platinum Cogs for now, so. Okay, so at least for this area, let's use the Thermo Bunyip. Let's go exploring in the lava. And the opals that magically appear on the platforms that don't appear to the naked eye. I guess they only appear to when Ty's out of the bunny. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's try try getting ourselves across somehow. Ah, why did I think that would work? Try the the warp ring loops. Duh! Come on. All right. All right, little guy, you're free. See you around like a rizzle. As Snappy would say. And seriously, why would Ty <laughs> just introduce himself when he already met him back at Sulphur Rocks? Just another writing inconsistency, I guess. Okay, so I guess on top of all the ludicrous themes we've been dealing with here, it's time to go swimming in lava again. Oh, wait. Hello, beautiful yellow opal bags. Okay, anything else? Or am I just kidding myself? Yeah, I'm probably just kidding myself. Oh, wait a minute. Wait! Here's a passageway. Here we go. Okay, secret room. And there's Scuba Steve in his final hiding spot. Okay, so. Yeah. He certainly gets around, that's for sure. Okay, so I think uh, we'll talk with Steve and we'll end this part and and we'll just uh, continue to never never in the next part. Alright, so what does this backpack totem weirdo have for us this time? Will you quit following me? I'm trying to keep a low profile. 
and it's very hard to do with you showing up all the time. For all I know, they could have followed you here. All I want is some peace and quiet. Is that too much to ask for, is it? Look, if I give you this, you'll promise to leave, okay? Here you go. And just like that, he's gone. And... He's gone for good, because, uh... We've found every single Goo Goo Steve. Ten out of ten. So yeah, we won't be seeing this weirdo until the third game. Whatever. Got a lot, lot more to deal with in this level. So that takes care of two missions. And yes, that uh, musical bird with her young did count as a mission. Just an optional one. Alright, so, in the next part, we'll be dealing with Rocky Road and Dennis Dash. And, uh, collecting all the, every single collectible in between. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and if you would leave a comment and or a like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time, on Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 2, Bush Rescue. This is Tyrion Gamer 23 signing out. Yeah, just with all the just it's just crazy here. Just dinosaurs and aliens. This game has everything in the in the end. But the mishmash of uh, prehistoric and futuristic nonsense doesn't stop here. There's there's bound to be more in the in the second part of the Never Never. Well, why do you think they call it the Never Never? Because things, these things never, never happen. There's never, never any dinosaurs in current day, in the current day world, and there's never, never any aliens that show up in in, in a prehistoric world. Just really it's so baffling, and I have just so many questions.